Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In my last video, I party prepped for my aunt's surprise birthday party. She was turning 70 and we had an amazing time. The games were a hit, the decorations worked out nicely, and most importantly, my aunt was surprised and seemed to have a really good time at her party. So if you guys missed that video, make sure you go ahead and check that out. But in today's video, we are going to be cleaning up after the party. So let's get to it. So I'm going to be giving you guys some before shots. I was very thankful that my family was helpful at the end of the party. I was kind of like co-hosting this party with my mom. Even though it was at my house, she did a lot of the, you know, heavy lifting when it came to getting the things needed for the party. So she also did a lot of help at the end by helping with dishes and just kind of helping tidy up after a lot of the guests left. So I was really grateful for that because it didn't leave too much for me to have to do by myself once the kids were in bed. So we're going to start by taking down the little happy birthday banner that hung over my sink. And later I will be replacing it with our Halloween banner that was up there originally. When I do these kind of party cleanups, I have found that what works best for me is taking care of like one space at a time. So we are going to start by cleaning up this dining area by first removing everything off of the treat table. And then we're going to give the rug a quick vacuum since the table is pushed aside and it's easier for me to clean kind of the areas that are harder to reach when the table is back in its normal spot. This is also a really great time for me to pull the rug back and do a little vacuum mop in this area because it is really high traffic since a lot of people were going in and out of the house. But after this, Juan and I are gonna move the table back and I will be popping the balloons and I'll include the sound here because I know a lot of you guys like it. Now let's go ahead and clean up the results of that balloon popping and we're going to take down the balloon arch, take off the table cover and give our table a good wipe down before replacing it with our Halloween table cover. We're going to move on to our glass board. We're just going to easily clean this up, but also put up some of the standard stuff that I like to have on the board when we're doing homeschooling. So Aubrey is in first grade. Technically, I think she should be in kindergarten because her birthday falls just after the cutoff. But because we're homeschooling, we can kind of judge that, you know, according to what we think is best. And, you know, first grade is working out pretty well for us. 
But anyways, you know, right now, kind of the main priority of her schooling is phonics and math. So I'm doing, you know, the letters and highlighting the vowels in red and then putting up the numbers so that she can refer to them if she's confused about how to write a specific one. I've noticed sometimes she writes them like backwards and I don't know if that could imply that maybe she could be dyslexic or have some type of issue, but I think it's just she's young and can be forgetful at times. As we're cleaning up our sliding glass door, I just want to note again, I use chalk pens to decorate my sliding glass doors and mirrors. And I discovered a while ago that instead of just trying to spray them with water and wipe them down to clean them up, actually using like a blade and scraping off the chalk works so much better. It creates much less mess and like streaking on the door. So if you use this technique for decoration in the future, get yourself like a little blade from the Dollar Tree and it makes the removal a whole lot easier. So our floors after this party were disgusting and I actually don't mind it because it is nice to see like a before and after, you know, as I'm cleaning, it's very satisfying. And so in this clip right here, you can kind of see like a dirty portion of our floor and there is a complete difference when you look at the clean floor right here. So in my party prep video, I did put some balloons in my bathroom, but I forgot to show you guys, I also put balloons in my kitchen and in my dining space. And I had to be very strategic about where I placed my decorations for this party because we didn't want my aunt to see like balloons with 70s on them as she entered my house. I wanted her to be able to walk down the hallway and then see everyone. But anyways, I just, you know, I had forgotten to show you guys those balloons in my party setup video, but I did make sure to add them to, you know, elevate the space a little bit more. So our family room did get a lot messier during the party and so this little tiny mess was not that big compared to you know what it was before so i was grateful that people kind of tried to clean up as they go and help take care of the space before they left my house but we're just gonna finish tidying this up and then give the rug a quick vacuum let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it So we're going to go ahead and finish up the night by taking care of my countertops and all the dishes. Now I tend to save this part for last because I live in this space normally. It's not always perfectly clean and it's something I can take care of when my kids are playing on the rug or eating at the table and they don't really tend to mess up the countertops as much as they would some other area in the house. 
So even though this area is kind of the one that stresses me out or, or mentally exhausts me the most because everything has a place and it's not all in the same place, it's like all over the house, I do save it for the end of the night because I know the kids are out of the way, all of the rest of the house is clean, and if I don't get to finishing it tonight, you know, I can tackle it tomorrow and the kids won't really mess it up. So I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of outside. This was the next morning and everything was nicely cleaned up by our guests and my husband. So I was really grateful for that. But then on a separate day, we're going into the bathroom. That was one thing I did not do the night of the party. So we're just gonna be cleaning up the mirror art and giving the counters a little quick wipe down. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope it provided you with some cleaning motivation or at least just some entertainment. If you are new, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.